My name is Michael Zampani, and I'm a principal engineer with the Physical Stars organization. I've been at Amazon for over 12 years and with Physical Stars for over six. Today, I'll be talking about the Just Walk Out customer experience, the hardware we design and build to support it, and the software architecture that ties it all together. First, a little bit of history. The first Just Walk Out store opened to the public in 2018 in the heart of Amazon's Seattle campus. Since then, we've expanded to more than 20 Amazon Go stores, more than 15 stores in the UK, more than five full-sized Amazon Fresh groceries, and have recently launched a Whole Foods market that's Just Walk Out enabled. In addition, we've enabled third parties to adopt Just Walk Out in more than 15 of their own stores. If you haven't had a chance to visit a Just Walk Out store yet, the concept is simple. Depending on the store, enter with your Amazon.com app on your phone, your credit card, or even just your palm. Shop as you normally would. When you're all done, just leave and your receipt will be processed automatically. No lines, no scanning your groceries, no fuss. But while the concept is simple, there's a lot of complexity to manage behind the scenes. To make the experience as magical as possible, we've designed several pieces of hardware and a system of in-store and cloud microservices. The first piece of hardware you'll interact with in a store is our Amazon One entry pedestal. With Amazon One, we've made it even easier and faster for you to shop. Simply place your hand above the entry station and the system securely identifies you within a second. It takes less than a minute to sign up the first time and after that, you don't even have to get out your wallet or phone to shop. Once you're in the store, we use in-house design cameras to recognize and process shopping behavior. Our cameras allow us to include exactly what we need for our algorithms, while also reducing cost by cutting out anything we don't. These are no dumb cameras though. We run computer vision algorithms directly on the camera to improve efficiency. We also have to design around physical requirements. Stores come in all shapes and sizes. We want to install the least amount of cameras as possible, meaning each camera needs to have high resolution and a wide field of view. Stores have different types of ceilings and walls, so our mounting attachments need to be flexible and simple. Buildings may have elevators or trains running nearby, so the cameras gracefully handle vibrations. These are not your basic security cameras or webcams. In addition to cameras, we built additional sensors to give us more flexibility to reduce cost in our stores. These devices need to be sensitive enough to detect even our smallest products accurately and reliably. They need to be resilient to people leaving bags on them, running into them with carts, or leaning on them while reading their phone or talking to a friend. Also, installation needs to be flexible. Stores and shelves don't come in a single size and shape. The sensors need to be easy to install, clean, and replace. The microcontrollers that power the sensors need to be low heat and therefore low power. Nobody wants unexpected melted chocolate or warm drinks. This means we have to do careful coding to get the performance we need with low-powered hardware. All these cameras and sensors add up to a lot of devices to connect. To support our requirements, we've also started designing our own networking hardware for our stores. Our switches are built on top of the Linux Foundation Dent project, an open, simplified networking operating system pioneered by Amazon for use by anybody. Our sensors are designed to be frugal, and AWS allows us to elastically scale our resources to process the data but our stores can be a long way away from a data center, and there's a lot of data to process. Our initial prototypes and installations started with 100% of our processing done in the cloud. As we scaled to different locations and larger store formats, we quickly needed to iterate on an architecture to allow us to run our algorithms where it makes the most sense, in the cloud with Elastic Compute or in the store where the data is. Enter our edge computing architecture. We're working on innovations to process sensor data and compute your receipt without going back and forth with the cloud. Placing compute close to our data allows us to reduce cost and improve reliability by sending less data over the internet. In the end, all of our cameras and sensors and scanners create a lot of data to be processed. To make the whole system as robust as possible, the data streams are processed as independently as possible, resulting in a highly concurrent and asynchronous architecture. Hidden in these blocks, are many different types of applications and services, from low latency applications that operate on individual frames of streaming data, to event-based computer vision and machine learning services that understand shopping behavior. From custom embedded software powering microcontroller units, to inventory and warehouse management applications on handhelds, there's something for any engineer. Our scaling concerns can be a little different from a standard web application. Our services and architecture need to scale from quick trips for a snack at a grab-and-go store to supplies for the week for the whole family trips 
to the grocery. We need to be able to elastically handle the first customer of the day up to busy lunch and dinner rushes and scale back down overnight. Our first store was about 2,000 square feet of shopping area. Recently, we launched a Whole Foods market with over 20,000 square feet of shoppable space. We've scaled to support many more customers in the store, each shopping for more items. All the while, we need to monitor and manage traffic for thousands of devices as far apart as Seattle and London. To keep our experience as reliable as possible, we focus heavily on reducing the impact of any single bug, scaling issue, or internet outage. To do so, we've adopted a cellular architecture, separating the processing of different stores from each other. This lets us place an upper limit on the size that any single instance of our service needs to grow, improving testability and reducing risk when rolling out new changes. To offset running more independent instances of our software, we invest heavily in zero-touch launching and monitoring of new cells, automated testing to prevent issues, and automated mitigations when the inevitable problem crops up. Over the last few minutes, I've talked about our Amazon One contactless identity service, cameras and sensors that power our Just Walk Out technology, moving compute to the edge, and the network and software architecture that ties it all together. But I don't have time to talk about all the things that make our space interesting. We're on the cutting edge of computer vision and machine learning. We're constantly innovating to make our system simpler, more reliable, and more frugal. If you're interested in a new challenge, we probably have something for you. Thank you all for taking the time to watch. You can find more information about opportunities in the physical storage space at our career page.